Hi, I'm Jeff Gearhart, CEO of Priority Living and coach of the master's program. I have a story to tell you. I was in Amman, Jordan, and I jumped into a taxi cab. Now, I've lived and worked overseas, so I've always been really used to very aggressive and fast driving that comes with foreign taxi cabs. As we sped away from the airport, it's my habit to strike up a conversation and see what's the state of my driver's path to God. Where are they at spiritually? On this trip, which was happening to be quite late at night, I asked my driver his name. It was not a standard Islamic or Arab-based name. It sounded more Jewish to me, so I asked him about it. He explained that he was an Iranian Jew. (laughs) What? That's like saying I'm a Los Angeles Yankee. The two things don't go together. And yet here he was, and he explained to me more clearly that he was a Persian Jew. Now, if you go back in time and remember the story of the exile to the Persian Empire, at some point, they were allowed to go back and rebuild the temple. However, they didn't all go back. In fact, some of them stayed and made lives for themselves until it was no longer viable. This week, while you're anticipating news headlines, I have a question for you. Where's your home country? Is that where your hope is anchored? As a citizen of the kingdom, we've been changed in our mindset, our object to live as aliens and strangers passing through, preparing for our forever home. These days may start unhooking you from normal. Perhaps all of a sudden you're wondering, should I make the most pleasing thing in my life my existing norms? What if we didn't get our comfortable feelings from living in Persia and we eagerly awaited the time to go home to the place that's being prepared for us? How would that change my daily living, feeling, and anxiety? Leaders keep vision alive by dreaming of the outcomes. We've always recommended to you the book called Heaven by Randy Alcorn. I want you to pull it out and just read one chapter. Look at the index and select one chapter that's interesting and read it. Paul wrote this in Colossians 3. Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your heart on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things, for you have died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Now is our time to lean in and keep our hope in heaven. It's the outcome that's not going to disappoint. I'm Jeff Gearhart in your corner. Until next time, God bless you.